Here's another question where we have a story. It seems intimidating, but luckily I understand what this story means even without the story. I understand what this equation is telling me. This equation jumps off the page. This is clearly a parabola. We have an x squared. We have an x minus 7 squared, but the x is going to be squared if I FOIL that out. And this is the vertex form of the quadratic, of the parabola. And they kind of say that, right? I mean, they, they get to the vertex here, and they're asking us, what does it mean? Well, this is really a vocabulary question. We, we need to know that vertex has a couple other words that we use to kind of define it. Usually, um, we talk in stories more about maximums and minimums. And it depends on the equation. Sometimes it's a maximum, sometimes it's a minimum. In this case, it's a minimum. We know that because this 1 9th is a positive number. So we're going to get a parabola that curves like this. So it's a minimum value. Specifically, yeah, let me draw it bigger. Specifically, this is the vertex, and this is what we're looking for. Now, the coordinates of this vertex, because I understand vertex formula, are very easy to understand. They are going to be positive 7, positive 3. And I'm getting that by just reading the part in the parentheses. That kind of gets flipped. It, the negative 7 becomes a positive 7 as the x-coordinate of the vertex, and the 3 just stays as a 3 as the y-coordinate of the vertex. So now let's look at our answer choices. What is the meaning of the vertex? Well, this is a metal ball's height above the ground after it moves on a track. Okay. So the metal ball's minimum height, well, that's a good sign. Minimum height was three inches above the ground. Okay. The metal ball's minimum height, oh, same word, was seven inches above the ground. So those, those both sound like we're using the right word here. Uh, C, the metal ball's height was three inches above the ground when it started moving. Well, started reminds me of the idea of y-intercepts. We've seen that in other questions before. Basically, a starting point in a story is going to be represented by the y-intercept. That value is not the vertex in this case. It is not part of the equation, so it's not going to be the 3 or the 7. And the same thing here, started moving. Again, we've got y-intercept. So these two are at least wrong. And now you're down to 50-50 shot just by knowing that a vertex and a minimum are the same thing. Um, in this case, just think about the unit that they give us, right? So they tell us that... Um, x is the number of seconds, and the height is f of x. So if I apply that to my point, then the 7 is the number of seconds, and the 3 is the height. So if they're asking, uh, what is the vertex, just look at the units now. The height was 3 inches, or the height was 7? Well, no, they said the 7, it was 7 seconds, the height was three, so choice A is the answer. So at the end of the day, a lot of these questions will come down to something like this, where you're going to just going back to the story, they're gonna tell you what the X and the Y represent, they're gonna give you a unit maybe, or some sort of other descriptor, and then the choices are gonna just kind of match them either with the right one or the wrong one, and so you just need to read what it says in the story and put it here. So there's actually very minimal understanding of the story involved. It's mostly just knowing what to check for, and it's lucky for us that this is a multiple choice test, so we can use the answer choices to our advantage. But I will say the thing to memorize is, first of all, what the vertex form of a parabola looks like. The generic version of it is y equals a x minus h squared plus k, where hk is the vertex, and we also need to memorize that the vertex is known as the maximum, the minimum, the turning point. All these words are associated, and so we shouldn't be surprised if we see them pop up in the stories whenever they have a vertex equation.